Hello beautiful Virgos, welcome in to the Gifted Hermit if you're new to the channel, hello. My name's Leela, I also reside in London, UK and I'm also a Virgo. How you guys doing? So let's just, just jump straight into this reading. This energy is yours, this energy is your person's. I mean I shouldn't laugh but <laughs> the irony is hilarious. <laughs> so beautiful energy we've got two queens here for your energy bugs okay queen of cups queen of pentacles let me just take this opportunity to thank you guys for the continued support i appreciate you guys so much all right this is predominantly a virgo channel if you'd like to book me for a personal reading you can do that all the information is in the about section so two queens here queen of cups queen of pentacles you are tapping into your heart, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles, that's your card, right? Grounded. Look how she's got a big pentacle there. You guys are about your money. You're about being grounded. You're very generous, okay? You're very nurturing. You've got a lot of love to give. Even more so with the Queen of Cups here. I feel like a lot of you are understanding what it is that you truly desire. You're starting to really tap into your feelings. I feel like a lot of you... There's this energy, yes, you are very nurturing, Virgo, as always, but I feel like there's a great understanding that you are having right now, not only with yourself and your feelings, but other people. You seem to be radiating love, no matter all the crap that you've been through, how much people have let you down, disappointed you, used you, neglected you, abandoned you. You are in a very strong energy. And it's like, ah, I'm not going to let these people be, make me be bitter. I'm not going to let these people make me be unloving or closed off to love. I understand what it is that I want. I understand the needs of others. She is very attuned to her emotions, the Queen of Cups. So I feel like a lot of you are really tuning into your emotions. There's a lot of love and compassion that you're giving off to others right now. Virgs, the Queen of Cups is a very healing energy. So I know a lot of you have done a lot of healing or you're doing the healing. You are extremely intuitive right now, extremely intuitive, especially with the Ace of Swords there. Like you're seeing so much more than other people see. You're very sensitive and you have been through a lot. So that makes it even more easier for you to understand others, all right? Now, the Ace of Swords here, I feel like a lot of you are going to be getting your clarity or there's been a lot of clarity recently in your life. You're seeing shit for what it is. And a lot of you've got a new ideas, you got a lot of awareness, awareness of yourself, awareness of others, there's a lot of memory, Virgo, you are going to be or are very successful, very intelligent, you see shit for what it is, you see shit that other people don't see, so you should be very proud of this energy, right, despite everything, you are being more understanding and aware of your emotions and others and in doing so you're bringing in success you're bringing in triumph you're bringing in victory there's massive clarity here there's new doors opening for you there's life-changing shit that's going on right now a lot of you are on a spiritual breakthrough okay there's like a fresh energy a fresh vision for your future and you're being quiet about it. Wisdom, truth, finding yourself. And I love this energy. You're being honest with yourself, folks. That's, that's amazing. So now I asked about Virgo's person. Where's their energy at? When I say Virgo's person, right, it could be... <clears throat> somebody that you're not in contact with anymore someone that energetically you still have some sort of pull on each other okay so how are they feeling three of swords 
Maybe there was a painful separation with this person. Maybe uh, they've separated from somebody, right? But what I feel is this person is definitely heartbroken. Shit's coming to light. Their feelings are coming to light. A lot of you, this person knows that you're done with it. You, you, you're just not even putting any more energy into it, okay? I feel like there is a person here that is only just realizing that they have feelings for you they're only just realizing it and it's hurting them because you've gone you know you've moved on or time has passed and things have changed right the page of cups signifies to me that this person is thinking of you they are still very much in tuned when it comes to emotions and and feelings for you this person maybe feels quite stupid with regards to how this panned out how this ended for those of you if it's ended okay they feel like they got caught up it's almost like it's too good to be true there's somebody here i feel like this person whether it's now in the future or past energy because tarot is timeless they've been through a lot however i feel like they're realizing how much they love you or they care for you whether they're letting you know that or not it's been hard for them something's been hard for them i feel like they're battling with their own shit i okay so i'll get this energy here as well with regards to your person um i forgot what i was gonna say yeah, they don't want to be heartbroken again. So there's somebody here that's definitely thinking of you, got you on their radar. However, they've been through so much crap that they will do anything to avoid feeling this way again. Okay. And then I got on the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this person is a past life connection. It could be that it could be just someone from the past, not necessarily a past life connection. This is someone that definitely thinks of you. Maybe thinks of children. Maybe thinks about what the future could hold with you. There's a lot of nostalgic energy here. Okay, so people are really thinking about the good times. So give me some more about Virgo's person and where their heads are. Yeah, Knight of Cups. So I definitely feel this could be this could have been someone that won you over this could have been someone that sold you a dream this could have been something that was quite nice there could have been courtship or you know there's romance here we've got like a little letter down there this person's kind of wearing young trendy clothes so it could be someone that there was an age gap between you guys or maybe they are still working on their emotions and their feelings and how to deal with that but <clears throat> yeah for some of you this is somebody new I definitely think so for some of you. And for others of you, this is somebody old, all right, that hmm, definitely fancied you, definitely loves the idea of love, definitely is mindful of not wanting to <clears throat> break their heart, not wanting to break your heart probably again, or they're very mindful. Wow, look at this shit. So some of you, this could be a twin flame coming in all right i'm not gonna specify on the zodiac signs but what i will say is that for some of you this is definitely was or is or is going to be a twin flame connection okay virgo you could have met this person out and about maybe social media maybe you met them at a function or an event somewhere where other people was generally speaking i feel like some there is somebody here that wants long term with you or wanted long term with you now again yet yeah, you guys could have been separated or this could be somebody that has been through a lot in their time and despite their feelings that they have for you they're very mindful of getting their heart broken again right this could be someone that comes back into your life, Virgo, that you were separated from. Nine of Pentacles, you're both single. Look at this energy. I love this energy. This is grateful energy. You put a smile on this person's face. You make them feel grateful for the little things. You have this great 
empathy you have this great understanding you have this great humble energy about you that they adore i feel like this is a lot of virgos very much so concentrating on themselves concentrating on the positive right you haven't got time to be in that three of swords energy that your person is in in some way or another so what is coming towards virgo in love let's have a look there shall we what is coming towards virgo in love wow so i don't know i feel like hmm Hmm. this is about being your own best friend Virgo I really feel like that I feel like some people have shut you out in the past you've been shut out you've been pushed aside people have not been truthful to you you've not known you don't you know maybe you don't know where you stand with this person what's coming towards Virgo in love wow look at this Virgs two of cups and the seven of pentacles so for some of you this connection's already begun for others of you this is going to blossom i see a connection here blossoming it may be a friendship that turns into something more okay there is opportunity for growth here with regards to this person it could be a cancer pisces scorpio it could be a virgo taurus capricorn doesn't have to be these signs all right but um yeah, whatever's coming towards you in love, it seems like it's going to grow, it's going to prosper, it's going to get a bit more intense and, and the bond is going to grow closer. Wow. So this is nice. For those of you that want a time frame, I will give you what I can. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July. The, the month of July is sticking out at me. Even um, the 2nd of July, to be more specific for some of you. So if you'd like to just jot down that date, I do see that. And I feel like, hmm. Yeah, there's somebody that is not willing to let you go. I, I feel like that there but others of you i feel like something beautiful is coming in any more messages with regards to this reading the hanged man beautiful energy okay virgs this is you like leaving it to the cosmos what's meant for you will be for you surrendering your will to the outcome seeing stuff from a different perspective and saying do you know what fuck it it is what it is what's meant for me will be for me i love this energy this is you guys just playing it cool. Seeing shit for what it really is. Being kind to yourself. Grounding yourself. So yeah, it looks very promising with regards to another connection or a new connection or a residence of a connection here. Alright? Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you find that it resonated with you in any way. Friggin' love you guys as always. Love, peace and light. Be kind to others. Virgo, but most importantly be kind to you sorry for the children there in the background hope you have a beautiful sunday and week ahead Mwah.